This right here is a compact design for a sealed off automatic composter in Minecraft. You can also make it bigger and more efficient by hooking up more chests and also a farm for the bone meal. And in this video I'm gonna show you how to build this. You're gonna need at least these resources. As usual you don't have to use light blue wool, you can use anything you want for those blocks like spruce, logs or something, just anything that fits in your base. I really like to use spruce with barrels. First, place the three droppers. Then you want a hopper to be leading into the bottom one, then a composter above it and a hopper above it again. Then barrels and now it is sealed off and you have your input here and your output here. Next we will want to detect that something has been injected into the dropper, which we do by a comparator, then we send the signal over and activate the bottom one with this, then with the redstone dust we activate this as well, and then with the next block we activate this one as well. You can make it more compact, and you can make it different, but this is just the most simple and compact way I did it. I had also once made something really similar with a smelter, which you can see in the info card if you click on that. Yeah, as you can see, the redstone here was a little different, but it does the same thing. Now that you've built it, how does it work? You basically just put anything in there. It does not have to be sugarcane. It can be anything that can be composted then it will be, you know, composted and be sent up back into the barrel up here, which is really cool, really fancy. You just put anything in there. If you happen to run out of storage for the bone meal, I recommend something like this, that you just have a double chest and uh, out there flowing just other hoppers leading into more chests. And if you need more input, then either just put more chests on top or add a farm. This farm right here is way too small, but just any, you know, big cactus farm or something like that. And then for the design, just put blocks around it and it will look absolutely great. And I would also recommend putting signs or item frames there so you can know where to put what. If you want to know how to build a sugarcane farm like this, I recommend watching the video on screen right now for a design that looks like this. Goodbye, have a good day.